This is an ABC 7 News Brief. Good morning. It is 724, and I'm Judy Sue. We begin this morning with a weather check. Here is Tracy with a forecast. Trace? Hi there, Judy. Good morning to you. What a balmy, mild start it is, but we have showers and thunderstorms coming into the Chicago area at this very moment. As you look at the radar right now, you can see all the orange and the yellow representing, again, there's some lightning out there representing those thunderstorms that are coming into uh, Elgin, uh, St. Charles, as well as Geneva this morning. 61 at O'Hare, 62 at Midway, 63 at the lakefront. So we had a round of thunderstorms that's coming through right now, and then it looks as though there will be a separate round of thunderstorms later this afternoon. Judy. Thanks, Tracy. And the race for mayor of Chicago tops our news this morning. We should know by the end of the day who will be running for mayor officially. Today is the final day for candidates to submit their nominating petitions for the February municipal election. Last week, former public schools president Gary Chico, Congressman Danny Davis, former U.S. Senator Kara Mosley Braun, former White House Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel, and City Clerk Miguel Del Valle all dropped off their petitions along with the required signatures at the Chicago Board of Elections headquarters in the Loop. Today, State Senator James Meeks plans to file his petitions before the evening deadline. He says he is doing that because he wants his name to appear last on the ballot. And we will be back with a look at traffic for you after this. Good morning, everybody. We've got a crash in Long Grove at the busy intersection of Route 53 and 83, and another crash in the city at Central and Byron. This crash has injuries reported in it. As far as the expressways go, though, well, we've got one crash inbound on the Dan Ryan at Canal Port because of some tire debris, and the travel time, still manageable. Kennedy's the worst, 40 minutes heading in.